Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm KOR Speedy and welcome to the Crew and A. And today we are joined by J Teen, Sinars for Reason, Nobody Epic, and Shadow Beats, as well as myself, but that's been pretty that obvious at this point. Because you're last Shadow, and I'm just going to make you last every time we do anything from now on. And not Appreciate notice your red Octobers. Alright, yeah. so... We have some questions for us today, and we're going to answer them in probably very sarcastic natures, but that's probably not the right way to do it, but we're going to do it that anyway. First question. Um, most of these questions are addressed to the whole crew, by the way, so that's why we're all together answering them. All right, first question. How do you record audio? Um, with uh, a microphone, maybe? I think definitely you want to use a microphone. Other than that, you could use your Xbox controller. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you know, the little ports on the bottom where you plug in your mic, you take out maybe, your mic and you start talking. Maybe into it. you can use your Nintendo DS and blow <laughs> into that mic thing. Yeah. You can I not. just, I just go. Or fuck, I was gonna use what? Siri. Siri, can you record this audio for me? Wow, record stores. Hal told me about those. <laughs> Who the fuck is Hal? <laughs> Did she say Hal? Yeah, she said, wow, record stores. Hal told me about those. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, shit. What? I, I don't... You're a fucking crazy bitch, and I'm not talking to you for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did she respond to that? I'm still here for you. <laughs> yeah, she's, she says she's still here for me. What a great lady, what a great lady. All right, next question. Um, from Jonathan Biffle, I think is how you pronounce his last name. Uh, who would win in a nine-way fight between everyone in the crew? Me. Oh. Sidearms. Because the most swig. I wouldn't fight sidearms. I'd run away from his... Sidearms? We would literally have guns pointed at sidearms and he would come and hug us. Is My, yeah, why yeah. I don't <laughs> think sidearms would win. My mom told me not to hit female animals. Ooh. Yeah. So, <laughs> yep. There you go. Can't hit you. Yeah, uh, all right. So, getting up a serious talk here, though. I, I think the answer would be Jehovah, just because I've seen his gun collection, and uh, I don't want to mess with him. I, I mean, would say Speedy, because I've seen, the, I've seen the, the guns on Speedy's yeah, shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's got Second Amendment right to bear arms, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Shadow, those, we're, those, those tries. Shadow, we're talking like last one standing in a fight. Anything like, goes. No, anything goes? Anything well, goes but nuclear warfare, which honestly I don't think anyone does. Yeah, so I wouldn't anything. be able to slash nuke. If I had yeah. to guess, none of us have nuclear warheads just laying around? Yeah. I mean, uh, I think Deluxe would be fixing to put up a pretty good fight, but I don't think he'd win, fixing. you know. I'd, yeah, I think, uh, I think Joe was gonna win that one. Is there any other arguments? Like, um, I mean, JT could probably bring in the nautical warfare with his, uh, fucking. <laughs> Dolphin dives, but I'm he probably <laughs> bros with Aquaman now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Aquaman, dude. When I met worthless person ever. When I met G18 in real life, he was wearing camouflage shorts, so that makes me believe he has some army knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, wow. that's exactly. He might he might know some tactics that we don't know. Oh my god! All right, um, we should probably move on here. Next question: What is your biggest life accomplishment? Anyone care to? Oh, that last year actually during no Fab November, I oh. lasted till. You the... did nine days, right? Nine or ten days, I think you I made think it. I think I did ten. I honestly don't remember. It's my biggest life accomplishment. Well, I remember I went one day longer than you, ah, and I went yeah. eleven. So okay, so really big accomplishment for me. Which that kind of relates to a future question, but go ahead, show. I, I... Are we doing serious or funny? You can do whatever you want. Because I mean, my no, you can do whatever you want, man. Getting a Spoder account on Twitter was kind of a, a big... <laughs> Shadow, Shadow's the first person in the crew to have a Spoder uh, account uh, yeah. for him. Spoder. If you don't know what that is, it's one of those accounts that speaks in that Spoder speak, and they're like, and bitch and stuff, right? I make yeah. noob step. And then, like, they all look the same, like they have the same outline? Yeah, yeah, they all have the same outline, they recreate your your persona via that character and pretty much every anyone in the world has one now, which is kind of crazy, but yeah. Any sports figure, any... Actress and yeah, actor. Le 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 LeBron James. Yeah, yeah, LeBron James has one. <laughs> Her George. <laughs> Joel, what's your biggest life accomplishment? Uh, well, Britney Spears follows me on Twitter, and she's the sixth most followed Twitter account. So yeah, that's you don't even follow deal. her. Yeah, that's what. Well, yeah, Speedy, that's the real kicker. That's what I was gonna say. Right? Yeah, that, she that makes me, it a little more. Followed. 
So. See, just a little background knowledge to anyone watching. Having someone famous follow you is called a holographic Pokemon <laughs> card, but you just you just get rid of the word Pokemon card, so it's pretty much a holographic Twitter follower because it's yeah. it's prestigious, you know. Um, I don't even know why she follows me. She follows yeah. a lot of people, but yeah, that's my holographic. And it took me a while to go chest hair, so I re remember when I grew chest yeah. hair. That was pretty good, but now I have else? like a weird like middle, and then it's on the outside of my nipples. Does so anyone else have anything like really impressive a follower? Like, like I know you have Mike Epps and he has like two point three million followers. I have Rockstar Games and the Electronic Arts, which are like two point six million. But I have the whole crew following me. <laughs> so yeah, we don't Damn, have so. I Damn. have. We're I not got... famous. We're just fags that play video games. So. I have nine you out of nine. You got all Sidearm. nine out of nine. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess I guess eight out of eight because Sidearms does Lil B follow you? Like I guess follows yeah, everyone. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Lil B follows. Me. That's, <laughs> that, that That's another really thing with Britney that Spears. Really count, That's yeah. another thing with Britney Spears. She follows four hundred three thousand people. Like, is it yeah. really that great, Joel? Come on. Come on does, doesn't doesn't Rockstar <laughs> follow you, Speedy? So they only follow like t almost two hundred people or some shit. Oh, yeah, so I feel oh, like that's a little more holographic. Oh, sweet. Kentucky Fried Chicken follows me. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say, Jehovah's not here. Jehovah's not here and with us right now, but yeah. he has uh, Steve-O following him, which is pretty cool. Um, Hove also has like some pistachio company following him. He's got some pretty holographic ones. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm sure we're missing some big follower out there. Jason, what's yours? Jason ain't got shit, man. I want a car that goes to speed of light. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, I didn't say my biggest life accomplishment. Mine would definitely be being able, being able to uh, steal Joel's girlfriend from him was nice. pretty big for me. Um, ah. Definitely something I look back on in life and say, you know what, I'm That's proud of that. Yeah. All right. And just claim I didn't actually steal his girlfriend, but there's a video on YouTube of that if you're interested. All right. Um, next question. How did you feel when you got your first subscribers and supporting comments? This is probably something you guys might want to take serious when answering this one. It might take me a little bit to answer this because oh, I'll go first. I have, go no, I, I you go. go first because I actually I do remember my first subscriber because I had my YouTube channel for a month and I got no subscribers and I probably had like seven views and six of them. Know that feeling, uh, yeah, and I, I just I was refreshing the page often, and then I was playing. Uh, uh, Black Ops 1 uh, one day and uh, someone was like I have a YouTube channel in the lobby and some other guy that was not me said oh cool I have one too D will you <laughs> subscribe for subscribe and he was like yeah and I was like um I have one too can you subscribe subscribe with me and he's like yeah sure and he had a hundred followers at the time or a hundred subscribers oh and I was like oh shit this guy's a hundred subs dude this is gonna take me so long to get there <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it, his name was uh, that, or it was something. Oh, they call me Kuda Five. Yeah, that was my first subscriber. Oh, dude, shout out. No, shout he still out, he he does like sports on uh, YouTube. He's like has a couple like a lot of thousands of nice, followers, man. Uh, subscribers. Yeah, that that's my story, man. It touched my heart. Yeah, I still remember. I don't it. have like any personal memories of like my first like comments or subscribers You've or anything. Been doing it for years. I just remember like waking up before school every day back when I had like 20 f subscribers and if I woke up and saw 21 or if I saw 24 it would have been like the greatest morning ever probably would have jacked off that morning yeah. you know kind of thing before school which was rare for me at the time I didn't normally do that no, but if no, I saw no. four more subscribers you know I'm pulling out the lube Better but uh in school exactly and lying exactly. about it I, none of us I, lied about that no, okay tangent no we're not going on that story right now okay, okay <laughs> um Wow, that, that probably sounds really bad out of context. <laughs> All right, um, so oh. so yeah, it would, it would just be really cool though, because you you like I had these videos that might have gotten like as time progressed like a hundred views at most, and a hundred views doesn't turn into many comments. So like if I woke up and had a comment that said like great video or something, it was really refreshing to see something like that that you know people actually watched your stuff because it was really rare when you have a small account to have feedback, and it was really nice. I feel like as someone who makes music. Uh... <laughs> Science clear they're taking this one seriously. <laughs> I enjoy comments that say, wow, this song made my ears orgasm. <laughs> I, was that really so funny that you couldn't just say it normally without laughing? Yes. It's hilarious, Shadow, because you hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow, Shadow runs a music channel if you don't know. And Shadow likes to get actual <laughs> feedback and criticism on his channel, and he doesn't always get that. You're gonna make it worse now. He's never on, a, on, a, on a more serious note, I actually think Deluxe was my first subscriber. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the difference with you, you, uh, because you 
basically had us in your lives, so your first yeah. like videos probably did much better than a normal person that just like did everything by themselves. Not that you didn't do it by yourself, but like you had other no, people supporting. I, I, I made my channel after I met the list. Yeah, yeah. So you already knew some big YouTuber with one thousand. <laughs> oh, you, you got inspired by Deluxe Foreman. Yeah, I used to watch his uh, Booty Man videos. Whoa, oh, whoa! Well, spoiler alert. Oh, might oh, be a spoiler oh, comment. Oh. JT, how was your first comment, man? <laughs> well, also, I, I've told you guys this like a bazillion times, but uh, I can't remember what happened. But I remember getting an email saying that Speedy followed me, and you, you, well, you had less subs than Deluxe, but it was still fucking awesome. I, oh. I watched your old That's videos. Back in the day, I was like, Fuck you. Yeah. And then, uh, Wait, what was that? <laughs> like rewind. Yeah. If you're watching the video, go back to the video <laughs> to hear him say, "Fuck yeah!" And I'll probably I'll, I'll, I'll edit it and keep repeating it, man. Yeah, right. Right. Fuck yeah! Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Turn that into a sound effect in your videos in the future, so we just keep hearing it. Oh my god! I, 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 I remember <laughs> us exchanging YouTube PMs, and we used to make the subject lines like I don't fucking, fucking Lexi well, yeah, Bell. But, as before, as well. yeah, before, uh, I, I think I've touched on this before, but, uh, Hove and I, Hove was the first crew member I met, so we always had conversations with each other. We never used Skype, because we didn't really know about Skype at the time, or we didn't like it that much, so we, we literally had YouTube comments, and every time you message someone, it added another re to the front of it, so if we yeah. said, we said, hey man, it would be re, hey man, and then re, re, hey man, and then re, 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 <laughs> we literally had conversations a hundred things long that said re, 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 hey man, and it was the funniest thing in the world looking at them. I wish I could easily go back in my, uh, you know, comment box. Also, Shadow would ask you this question because I don't have already answered for you, truthfully. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here's another fun question here. Um, <laughs> this is from Danny Goebel. Good for him. Good, good name. Goebel? Goebel? Not sure. Not sure how to say it, but that's what I'm going with. Goebel. All right. It's G-O-E-B-E-L. So, uh, good for you, man. Good for you. Yeah. All right, here's a question. Um, would you ever give up YouTube for a girl? Dun, dun, dun. Only two. Scarlett Johansson and Kate Upton, because... Yeah, like, that's the thing, like... A, two at a time. Yeah. No offense to normal <laughs> girls out there, but, the like, <laughs> if you're in a normal relationship, you can easily do YouTube and have a girlfriend at the same time. Maybe your work input on YouTube is toned down a little bit, and you're gonna have maybe one less video or something, or a little bit less recording time. But, if, if you know, one of those Kate Uptons come up to you, or just Kate Upton herself, who is my age, you know, if you're out there, Kate, uh, Justin Verlander doesn't work out if you're still with him. Um, but... They broke up a while ago. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> <Johnson's laughs> than Justin shit, said. So. Let's just say, if Kate Upton came up to me and said, quit your YouTube channel and marry me, <laughs> I'm quitting my YouTube channel, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. Oh shit! Anyone, anyone have any thoughts on this? No, uh, on a serious note, if a girl makes you quit YouTube for her, then that's really shitty. Yeah, she like, worth. yeah, yeah, that ain't worth. It. I mean, this is my life, man. This is my fucking life. Are you saying I don't even go outside? I don't, I don't, I don't know go outside. <laughs> I don't What's know if that? you're a fan of Scarlett Johansson, Joel, but what if she was like, "Hey, I'll have sex with you forever if you." I mean, what's that mean? Like, every single day? Wouldn't she get kind of tired of it? No, and she's no. gonna get fat. Have you seen, like, old people? Those used to be, uh, young, too. Yeah, but that, those yeah, are How old is, uh, Scarlett Johansson now? I actually don't know. Fuck, I know. Is she in her 30s yet? Her tits are in know. her, like, 44s. Really? Double Wait, no. B's! She's 29? <laughs> <laughs> 29? Yeah. So, side, what, what are your thoughts? I know this is a little disrespectful, and I know age is something that happens to everyone. But, side, wouldn't you want to go for like one of those hot twenty-one-year-olds, just yeah. like she's in her prime? Oh, long oh, yeah, side. What are your thoughts about Scarlett Johansson being twenty-one while you were born? <laughs> how, how old is Kate Upton? Uh, she's twenty. 20? I mean, the, the odds of me ever having sex with either of those is like literally zero. Yeah, she's Kate Upton's really young. She might be like twenty-one, right? Oh yeah, she's, she's twenty-one. Good for her, dude. So, Good older her. than her. Wow. Yeah, really developed for 21, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even hit puberty yet. <laughs> I bet she went to elementary school, too. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. It's just me. Can you cut that out? <laughs> yeah, I'll cut that out, man. Just uh, kidding. I'm not cutting that out. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> well, it's on the internet forever. Damn. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, Shadow, do you have any answers for this, man? What was the question? Are we still on the if you give up? Yeah, yeah you do for a girl. Thanks for paying attention. <laughs> no. Even Kate Upton? Like, wow. Oh. Well, 
Well, explain <laughs> the circumstance. Science, man. I love it. Okay, up in the circumstance, you shadow. We're gonna move Jesus on. Jesus fucking. Shadow contemplates things. That's my favorite. Yeah, I know. Shadow. That's why I don't talk. Because like... <laughs> we misconstrue oh. everything you say and make it look like you're a bad guy. Up in circumcised. If you want Kate up in the circumcised, you shadow. That's fine. But everyone tweet that to shadow on Twitter. With her teeth, I would be down. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be nice. All right. Uh, next question is from Glitch. <laughs> already truth. circumcised, by the way. Well, man. All right. Start no one asked, man. Jeez. I'm just. I. I just feel like you know. Next question. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's the best thing you love doing in GTA 5? I'm gonna go out there first and say I just love driving the damn stunt planes and doing fun shit with them. Anyone else care to talk? Turning off the Xbox. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> oh, man. Shit. I'm just kidding. That game is fun. I like um. <laughs> You know, besides playing with my friends, I like flying around in the military jets. This homo. <laughs> That's like... J-Team. We gotta ask J-Team. That's the more important thing here. J-Team, what's your answer for that, man? I just like killing everybody. Anyone in particular? Driving <laughs> stunt planes into you. Psycho. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like about a, how things go. Oh yeah, in our in what we played today, it because it's a new update or whatever. It's like G eighteen has gone psycho or some shit. What did it say? Does anyone remember? But yeah, there's track? like a psycho and like uh, what's it's that like meter a, called? Fuck. An anger meter or something. Some and if you, <laughs> as you kill more people or do like insane stuff, your mental, state? Mental, oh, mental state. Mental state. Yeah. Your mental state in that game. Everyone has a li little white dot on the map now. Well, they always did, but now if you have like your mental state go crazy by killing people and doing insane stuff, or your sanity level or whatever, your dot gets more and more red, and j -teens is constantly bright red, and if you yeah, kill him, so you get we RP know, we know to level up. Him. Yeah, and it's just funny that his is constantly red and everyone else is white, and then you get killed by him, and it says in the bottom left, j 11 versus 0 for you, because it shows your <laughs> kill death. And yeah. I'm always like really low, and it's really depressing, and it makes me sad and cry. Um, Shadow, do you have anything in particular, man? Uh, yeah, I like um, stealing like those uh, those big rigs from the highway and customizing. Oh wait, you can't do that in GTA. That's Saints Row 4. My bad. <laughs> I was gonna thank. I thought you, this would be the better game. Say, like, I, so the, I get the, the the 12 people who played Saints Row 4 will. Saints oh, Row Siders, you know there's at least 13. Know, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Siders. <laughs> oh shit. All right, next question. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I think Saints Row is probably a good game. I just didn't play it personally because it only had two-player multiplayer, right? And uh, I like to play with all my friends. Yeah. You know? All right, next I question. Friend. I think two Shadow, I only have one friend. So. so actually, it would have been great for me. I only have one friend. <laughs> all right, uh, Josh Marshall asks, um, for Speedy, who in well, this question's for everyone, so let me just rephrase this. Um, <laughs> for the whole crew, who inspired you to start making videos? Because that's what he asked. He definitely asked the whole crew that question. Um, I'm just going to go out and say it. Tabes inspired me to start videos. Um, <laughs> he was the YouTuber that uh, really uh, I, I first started watching and stuff in terms of Call of Duty stuff, content. And uh, it's just really awesome that he was the first one to figure out the girls love nukes is why I was so interested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said... Did you already say yours was D4? Yeah, I, okay, at first it was Deluxe. And but now it's it was, Speedy. Yeah, now it's... Hey, Sad, make videos. <laughs> <laughs> You'll love it and stuff. I'm make a video. I'm going to delete all my videos. One. <laughs> <laughs> no, but on, on a serious note, it's... it's At first it was Deluxe, then Deluxe and Speedy. And then Deluxe, Speedy, and nobody. SCORE! And then everyone now. I mean, except, except for Shadow, because I feel like I can't do his musical stuff as much as I jerk about it. And making noise with my mouth. Oh wow, man. Oh, <laughs> you killed it. Fucking killed it. Anyone uh, for anyone else? That inspired Skrillex, you? Skrillex for me. Skrillex, nice. I love that man. He, they do, Skrillex they do is my awesome favorite job. band. They do a great job. Yeah, all of them. The guys at Skrillex really do. Yeah. Yeah. All so those so men at Skrillex really. that make all that good music is just really I think, impressive. I think the, the drummer really does. Uh, yeah. No, there, there's a girl in there, right? Like Skrillex the, is a great the long band. Hair and the, the one with the long <laughs> hair and the glasses. No, that's <laughs> Shadow. That's Skrillella. Skrillella. <laughs> they make such good music. Sorry, my bad. Uh, I was, uh, I don't want to like bandwagon, but I was also somewhat inspired by Speedy, but also other YouTubers like Guard Rabbit, rest in peace to that awesome channel. Oh my but god, Guard awesome Rabbit for the win, man. Guard Rabbit for the win. But yeah, I liked uh, funny YouTubers, but I didn't know of Deluxe before until I met him because I liked funny YouTubers. Did you <laughs> anyone in the <laughs> are you, man? I was just kidding, I like mm, No, not really. J-Team doesn't have any interest for so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jade seems just like, I will do this myself. Yeah, he was just looking at a fire one day, and he's like, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this he watched a Rocky movie. Yeah. This next question um, is going to be pretty interesting. We're not going to talk about it too much. I think Sodom says something he wants to announce. Um, it's for the whole crew. Do y'all watch what? porn? Oh, yeah. Winky face? Winky face? Okay, speaking of that, I can't remember the last time we asked about this or even mentioned this, but we used to have a Brazzers account called Three Best Friends. <laughs> Shitty Joel and I used it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to go this far in depth. Just make the damn announcement. Okay, right? we need another browser's account. By we, I mean just me, because the <laughs> one that I was using, it got expired or some shit, and there's no way I can do that kind of stuff, because if someone sees the charge, they're yeah. going to be like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, or Digital Playground. We're not I'm out of here. Digital Playground. <laughs> they're going to shut up. He left. Did he actually leave? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, fucking hates me talking about this shit. <laughs> See, everyone send over your uh, account information to Sidearms. He won't change the password on you, don't worry. Oh, you can see what kind of stuff I want. Yeah, that's the weird thing about Prize. <laughs> wow. You can actually see what the other people on the account view, because it has a viewing history, so Sidearms yeah. is going to be watching some weird stuff on your account, just letting you guys know. <laughs> Alright, next question. We'll move on from there. Um, this one's kind of actually directed at me, but maybe you guys can answer too if you uh, want to comment on my wardrobe. Um, do you like no. solid colored shirts? Because in your videos you come out with, you only wear solid color shirts and blue shirts, you know? So uh, does anyone want to answer before I can give my answer as to why I only well, wear solid I colored mean, shirts? I actually before? have like the insight on this because you're, I mean, you're not as tall as I am, but we're tall people and it's hard. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of clothes available in our size that fit us very well. You you have probably true. easier time than me, but I have to, every, every time I get clothes, it's like tall size, there's a T attached to it. T for tall, T for too hard to find in a normal store. So, T for too cool for school. T for too cool neutral colors is <laughs> what I also wear, but nobody comments about it, so that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, my main philosophy on shirts and stuff is I don't like to stand out. I mean, this isn't even philosophical, but I don't really like I don't like driving attention to myself or like standing out. So like I just wear I don't want to wear like a graphic tee that says "Boom, check me out, Roxio Game Cap." You know, I just want to wear a shirt that. <laughs> <laughs> what a great example. <laughs> I, I just want to wear a shirt that, you know, brings no attention to me. Like, I, just, I don't want to drive attention to myself, so that's why I'll, I'll wear a damn blue shirt with nothing on it, which coincidentally has brought attention to the shirts more than a graphic tee would, because everyone's talking really about backfired. how I only wear blue. Yeah, really backfired, because everyone's the like, most... well, Speedy, that's not a blue shirt, you know? Like, uh, go ahead, Seth. The most attention-grabbing shirt I've ever worn was Jehovah's This Purple or this shirt is purple shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you, I don't know. But yeah, if you wear a shirt that, with big text, you're definitely just screaming, read my shirt, you know? Yeah, but other than that, I, I wear a solid color t-shirt. Yeah, in your Skype picture, you're wearing a black shirt and a gray sweatshirt. That's so hitty. And then, oh, wait, um, what am I oh, oh, sorry, I didn't know we were this, urban. This wasn't a question, but uh, <laughs> have you guys ever seen someone with a shirt in public that really made you laugh or you were jealous that you didn't have it? Yes. Because uh, uh, okay, one time... I the shit out of him and I steal it. Oh, well, Shadow's back. Shadow's back. Go ahead, son. Which one did oh, you see? Um, I can't remember what year it was, but on the first day of school, this this guy wore a uh, a shirt that says "I have a big cock," and then the says saying "cock" is like a rooster. And my teacher like flipped out. Is like you can't ever wear that again. <laughs> I don't know. It was just it's a very yeah. Um, okay, that's my story. So. Uh, yeah, but I don't think that's very appropriate for third graders to be wearing that. Well, this next shirt I'm going to talk about probably isn't too appropriate. Um, I went into um, a restaurant one time and, to get wings with my friends, and there was an African-American gentleman in that store, and he was wearing a black shirt that had the text on, Keep staring, I might do tricks, assuming that people <laughs> are staring at him because of his race. And I just thought it was a really awesome shirt that he had that on. I, I always thought that was a cool shirt. Anyone else have any shirt stories? I can I mean, I like, I think my shirts are cool. I like when I wear shirts, but I don't. <laughs> I like when I wear clothes. Yeah, yeah I, I, I personally <laughs> buy all those ice cream shirts, man. Yeah. Sometimes I just walk up to people and I say, I like your shirt. And then they say, don't uh, talk to my kid anymore. <laughs> Please get within 500 go. feet of me. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, next question. So, Adam, you'll like this one. Um, this one's from Scott Whiter or Witter. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, when did Sidearms first start sucking dick? <laughs> nice. All right, we can move on. You know, <laughs> like All right, this, this is the last question here. Um, this wait, one's directed wait, at oh, me. Go ahead, Sidearms. Do you want to address that? that? You want to give a big F you to Scott Whitter? Answer it. Scott Whitaker. 
Or Witter? What was it? Witter. I don't okay. know. Sorry, there, there's a price for everything, Scott, so let's just <laughs> keep that in mind. All right, yeah. sorry, go ahead. All right, um, final question here was originally addressed to me, but we'll just make it for everyone. Um, for the crew, do you plan on starting a YouTube channel? I think in the near future, I'll expand Where do my... people come up with these questions, man? I'll expand my, my Vimeo content to YouTube and start making music on there, and then... Yeah, man. I, I think YouTube is stupid, and I'm never gonna make one. And kind of like I'm never gonna do a face reveal either. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, I'll do a face reveal one shot of this one. So. I think I want to have a UJIS account because I bet <laughs> when people watch UJIS videos, I bet they're like a lot more engaged and probably yeah. interacting a lot more with those videos than they do with yeah. my videos. So I want I want people to have that kind of reaction when they Joel, watch my have, videos. Have you ever seen those like? Spam comments like, wow, this bitch cheated on me. Good thing I'm gonna leak your nudes. And then did they fucking have a link to some shady thing? Yeah, 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 don't click on that side. No, I've never done that, but I've considered it. <laughs> have you ever I've seen just lied. That, Have you seen those advertisements where they're like, wow, I grew six inches in six days. Yeah. Doctors hate me. <laughs> yeah. But why do the doctors hate you? I don't. That's what I don't get. What about those? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah. Like, so you're taller. I don't understand. Like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how can I measure this guy? Yeah, <laughs> I gotta get a step stool. Well, I, got, I think the asshole. doctors are mad because you know those <laughs> measuring things that you stand under and put your, you know, heels against the back and they get your height. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you break them because you're too tall or something like that, right? Yeah, that's probably. Is that why, why the doctors you. are mad about people growing six inches in four weeks? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, as you get taller, you gain more weight, right? So. It's but, like... but what I don't understand is why they're talking about height, but there's a picture of a dick on the screen. You know, on those ads. Yeah. I think it's just because it's porn. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, oh, so they're, okay, they're not talking about that kind of. Yeah, growth. I mean, if they're doing like an advertisement, like at a football game, it's gonna have like a football player with his dick out. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think that's where we're going to call it quits today. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Does anyone have any final words here? Um, Seems like a no. No. <laughs> uh, no. Goodbye, pumpkin pie. Goodbye, pumpkin pie. I haven't already said that. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Also, we did another crew and a uh, kind of crew-themed uh, related questions on Minecraft over on my second channel. I'll link that in the description here for you guys to watch if you're interested. And uh, that, we had every single person in the crew, all nine of us there for that one, if you're interested. So uh, head on over there and check that out. But with that said, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and love you and shit. Right? Is that how you end the video? Yeah, I think so. All right. I don't know because uh, apparently this guy wants me to start a YouTube channel, so I should start practicing. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> all right. This, this question is going to get a little dicey here. Um, who okay. is everyone's individual favorite member of the crew? Ooh, so, can, can oh, anyone, yeah. can anyone get We're going to do this as a group? Yeah, we're doing this as a group, just to uh, 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 possible uh, controversy here. Uh, my favorite, will be broken. My Let's favorite member my... is Jehovah. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, let me just Sidearm's going to change his answer right now. <laughs> Sidearm's <laughs> changes his answer. <laughs>